Hi, in this video I want to talk a bit about getting higher quality uh, nobles in the, in the game Kingdom Maker. So if you start out first, you have a normal uh, couple of uh, nobles and you can, uh, you can let them uh, boink, as they call it in the game, and that uh, normally results in normal uh, children offspring as well. But these, um, you have a chance of getting something uh, better or something worse. Actually, the lower grade is runt and the higher grade is impressive. So you should just, uh, as often as possible, uh, have your uh, nobles made and uh, get a couple of uh, uh, couples. And have them made, have all of them made, and you will see that quite soon from normal it went quite soon that you could get impressives. If not, then somebody else in your alliance also has some impressives. You can make some exchange and say, okay, we are uh, you marry you marry mine, I marry yours, and uh, we both get an impressive couple, and you start making impressive children now. With impressive, you have again most of the children uh, you will get from mating will be impressive level again, but you have a chance of having uh, exceptional. And if you have exceptional, that is actually uh, if you're if somebody else in your alliance also has an exceptional quality, you can uh, ma marry them off again and you can create more. When I had my first exceptional, there were a couple of others in my alliance who already had exceptional. I asked them, okay, can you uh, give one of your exceptionals to me? They were willing to do that very nice without getting anything in return directly. But once I had a couple, I, uh, I, I married them and I started creating offspring and I could provide uh, exceptionals back uh, to them and to others in the alliance as well. So it's a bit of helping each other and it's a bit of uh, of luck. Uh, for me it took quite some time, I think a couple of weeks, before I had my first uh, exceptional from the impressives. And that is, uh, yeah, I was also not playing that actively maybe, but I was also a bit unluck unlucky I think compared to some others. But it's just a matter of, uh, yeah, keep uh, keep going at it and it will improve over time. I'm actually now just marrying off one of my new... Oh, still rejected. Oh, there is news of a proposal, so I, I guess he still got her. Okay, you can Ever, I accept and she is now married into his family I uh, I got a nice one for him I think at least I thought she was quite nice uh, she had two uh, heirloom traits and uh, and I, and I rerolled to quite some nice uh, combat related uh, traits as well so that was quite a, quite a nice uh, noble if I say so myself so what you can uh, oh yeah, I married off a captain so that's maybe I should see if I can make a new captain or new rogue maybe a new captain we have an inherited trait so that's always nice Dungeon payout. I mean, that's not really matching the uh, the focus of this. I mean, it's very nice if you of if I would have gotten this for an explorer. Okay, that is very nice. Captain, maybe we want to have something more focused on combat or uh, battle. Uh, Capture success. I don't know if it is very interesting. This is a penalty, so definitely we want to get rid of that. Inspiring an heirloom trait. It's always nice. It's give the mother bonus to army damage, mother bonus to army health, the mother bonus to army healing speed, and the mother bonus to army speed. This is definitely a very nice one. So we keep this trait. 
um, charm success boing success not sure whether i'm uh, and kiss success i'm not sure whether i'm really interested in this one it is exceptional what was this Hmm. Yeah. This one even. Uh, Charm success is nice for getting married, but you only need that once and for the rest. For Captain Charm, hmm, I'm not really sure. I prefer if I can get some more uh, battle re related, that would be a lot uh, nicer. So that is of course always the risk that you get something that is very bad. Maybe I should keep this. Now the question is, should I re-roll this? Or just keep it re-rolling maybe is a bit risky. So I could just keep it anyway. Uh, you can ask for others if you, uh, what I tend to do is just say, okay, I have a new exceptional baby. Is anyone interested? Uh, I, you can choose from these and these roles you can let me say what traits are important for you and i will try with re-rolls to get them for you so you can help others get a good start with uh, uh, with giving them a partner for their noble that they would really uh, want so that is quite uh, yeah, potentially quite uh, quite interesting because of this uh, inherited trait for a uh, captain maybe this is not that good but okay there is a, a to my knowledge, there is no way anymore to get back from uh, from here. Not sure whether I'm going to use this one. Can also uh, can also sacrifice them. Oh, for example, here what what the problem is. So now and then you have two exceptionals that you made, and you still get an impressive. That is not so uh, nice. No, I'm not even going to. Uh, really bother with this i'm just going to say okay i accept it mature and that is dion and you know what in case you haven't seen it yet let's throw Dion into the volcano well we won't actually see the uh, throwing into the volcano that will take a bit too much uh, time but I will uh, send him on his way it costs a bit of sulfur to get rid of them And there is place again in the in the family okay uh, well this is just some tips to grow i mean it you really need nobles from others to be able to uh, successfully apply this strategy so yeah be sure you are in an active alliance or in another way have friends that are going to help you out with uh, mating uh, with marrying that should uh, yeah that really helps Okay, uh, that was it for this video. If you have any comments or any questions, that is always much appreciated. And uh, thanks for watching this video.